elected politician now, but he's still provoking strong reactions. The BNP leader Nick Griffin, who's just been elected to the European Parliament, had to abandon a news conference outside the Palace of Westminster today after anti-fascist protesters threw eggs at him and chased him down the street. His car was kicked and hit with placards as it was driven away. Mr Griffin called it a very sad day for British democracy. Our political editor Gary Gibbon has this report. The BNP phoned news desks at 10.30 this morning to say they planned to hold a press conference in front of Parliament. The party wanted to capitalise on its first ever victory in a national election. Its two newly elected members of the European Parliament stood in front of the mother of parliaments. The leader, Nick Griffin, attacked newspaper coverage of his party. The, um, the Guardian repeating a lie which is being repeated just now a few minutes ago on BBC Radio 4 uh, and again other papers as well. Uh, quoting Alistair Darling, saying the BNP got fewer votes than last time. No, we did not. Our Nick Griffin got to speak for two minutes before he and Minders noticed demonstrators moving in on them. That's a 17% increase on a falling turnout. Nick Griffin abandoned his press conference. Soon, an egg struck him on the neck. Nick Griffin, Nazi stuff! Nick Griffin, Nazi stuff! The BNP group abandoned the Green opposite Parliament and started trying to make their way back to waiting cars for a getaway. Scores of demonstrators pursued the BNP, shouting Nazi scum off our streets. From the moment Nick Griffin started talking to the moment he slammed his car door shut, was six minutes. Part of politics is people intervening and saying that we have to maintain um, a decent democratic society and those people who want to destroy it, we have to be very clear of identifying them. So that's the reason why we felt strongly enough that we have to begin to demonstrate. A few hours later, Nick Griffin was touring the studios. The BNP hopes its election to the European Parliament will bring it onto the screens to put its case. But the main political party's current position is not to share a platform with them, unless it's in an assembly or council they've been elected to. That's why all the main parties walked out of Nick Griffin's count at Manchester early on Monday morning, as he was about to give his victory speech. So, you see them there turning their backs on the electorate and a democratic verdict in a democratic election. Last night on Channel 4 News, the Labour MP Margaret Hodge decided to debate with one of the BNP's MEPs. All three main parties say they are not yet ready to sanction these types of appearances. But all three are thinking hard about how long they'll be able to maintain that rule. These demonstrators did manage to clear the BNP's two MEPs off Parliament's front lawn today. But as one of the perks of the European Parliament, both of them are now entitled to their own House of Commons passes, free to roam the building. Being an MEP also gets you invited to a Buckingham Palace garden party once a year, but you won't necessarily meet the Queen in the crowd. There's also a less well-known evening drinks reception at Buckingham Palace for all MPs and MEPs, where everyone gets photographed with the Queen. With two MEPs, the BNP will also get salary, allowances and staff costs worth around £800,000 a year from the European Parliament. Money for offices in Britain and fully equipped offices in Strasbourg and Brussels. They're in the money and in the news. The main political parties are now worrying over whether the BNP should be allowed into the country's political conversation. It's TV discussions, public debates, on what terms and at what cost. Gary Gibbon reporting. Joining us now, the man who organised today's egg attack, Martin Smith from the campaign group Unite Against Fascism. There's, there is a problem here, though, isn't there, Martin Smith, in that, I mean, tens of thousands of people have elected these guys. Well, it's not a problem for me. The problem for me is not allowing the fascist BNP to have the air of publicity and to be treated as a legitimate party. And so our main priority over the, over the coming weeks and months and years is to prove to people the policies of the BNP which are racist, which are supporters of Adolf Hitler, and to expose them for what they are, which I believe are fascists and Nazis. And that's what we're going to continue to do, and we're going to make sure the press uh, follow that and, and, and fight for that agenda. The danger is you, you turn him into some kind of a victim, I mean, particularly if he gets hurt or anything like that. Well, I, I think we have to have some level of proportionality about it. 
some of our members threw eggs at him and waved placards at him. This is an organisation that follows Hitler. Hitler murdered six million Jews in the concentration camps, murdered maybe six million other yeah, people. I mean, uh, that's, so they, that, they, to they me, that's a far, and, a and far, I mean, a far it, bigger, bigger problem. This is what this person would do if he got into power. They, so they kick his car on day one, but on day two, do they kick him? Isn't that the danger? No, no, the biggest danger is that these people do what they did in France, which they ignored Jean-Louis Le Pen, and they, Front National, got bigger and bigger until they become unstoppable. I believe our job is to make sure the BNP and their fascist friends do not get bigger and bigger. I'm d determined but, but, but you've to decided to now. do it, as it were, physically by f force of arms. The, the problem, surely, is that if you don't debate these people, uh, and that's the ruling of the political classes at the moment, all of them, you included, the Labour Party, the Tories, the, the rest of them, then none of them prepared to debate them. And that surely is, is, is potentially dangerous, because actually they've got this huge income now from Europe, they have a huge platform, they have passes to go into the House of Commons, they can go to places where you won't even be able to protest. The, big, the biggest problem for us is giving them the air of legitimacy, which has been the biggest problem from day one. We, want to, we believe there should be no platform for the British National Party. We believe every political party in this country should have uh, the right to speak, but the BNP are different. The BNP do not pursue uh, just a, a legitimate democratic structure. They have a completely different view. They have a, what is really a revolutionary fascist uh, uh, viewpoint. They will yeah, use Parliament to put their views. But what forward. about free speech? I mean, there is a difficulty here in that they have not been. Um, they're not in any way excluded by English law or British law. Um, we have a Human Rights Act. We have uh, a Race Relations Act, and in some way, they're allowed to continue within the law. And if they are within the law and they are democratically elected, who's to say that? You should be the person to shut them up. Because our, the idea of freedom of speech is that everybody has their say. When you allow the BNP to have their freedom of speech, it does mean literally murder on the streets. It means massive increase in racist attacks, uh, support for violence against black and ethnic mi minorities and gay uh, LGBT. With precisely because how arguments? can you engage with people who want to deny other people's freedom of speech? You wouldn't but you're trying to deny their freedom absolutely of speech. Absolutely, because they don't want their freedom of speech, their right to speak means the denial for everybody else, their freedom of speech. They're not like other political parties. Nick Griffin is quite happy to stand in the Euro Parliament and talk about his freedoms. His members attack Asians and blacks on the streets in this yeah. country. And but people like David them, Copeland, the bomber... Well, how can you engage, engage people them, who want to kill you? You have no way of challenging How do you that? engage people who want to kill you, who want to murder millions of people, who support the ideas of Hitler... Well, so of course, once they start engaging. breaking the law, that's another matter, well, isn't they it? they do break the law, and, very, and, and they've had many of their members prosecuted. Well, I don't believe you can just allow these people just to go on TV, speak their hate, hatred, and not accept that there is a, 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 an attack that goes on in, in the rest of the communities. In working class communities up and down the country, when these organisations get elected, we see trade unionists, mm -hmm. blacks, Asians attacked. Well, and actually, we have to stop that. Martin Smith, we must leave it there. Thank you very much for coming in. Now, all branches of Cheltenham and Gloucester uh, throughout the country are being closed with the loss of hundreds of jobs. Samira has the details and more of the day's news. All 164 CNG branches and 1,660 jobs will disappear from the high street from November. It's the latest round of cost-cutting by the owner...